Hi everyone, so I thought that I would show you guys the drill that I use for my nails because um, I've had a lot of questions and I'll show you how I use it to file my nails. So this is my personal drill and it's a really neat, easy to use nail drill and as you can see here you have your speed it goes up to 30,000 RPMs. It doesn't have any any uh, vibration on the nails. Here you have the power, the on and off. Here you have the forward and reverse mode. And this is your power outlet for your handpiece. It doesn't have a foot pedal, but that's quite all right. It is an older drill, so I mean, a lot of those features would not have come with this particular drill but some of you have been asking me and I thought I would share with you guys my drill as you can hear it's very quiet and as I turn it up you guys will hear I use it on the lowest setting when I'm working on the natural nail and as I try to take, take the bulk of the acrylic or gel, whatever I'm working on, down, I will usually put it up to like 15 to you know 16 RPMs depending on the client and also the bit that I'm going to be using. And then just to um, turn it on the reverse if you're working on your opposite hand you just flip the switch right here. So you don't have to turn off the whole entire unit to do that, you could just switch it right here and it goes back and forth. I've got some diamond bits here. And these are called diamond bits. The ones that are silver in color. And these ones with the gold on them are called carbide bits. Now carbide bits are actually really great to take down bulk uh, when you have to sand down the nail really quick and take down volume. Like if you have a really high arch and you want to taper it down real quick, these are really good to use. They're very, very sharp, as you guys can see. This one is actually a brand new one. Very sharp, and I would suggest that you use this on the lowest setting because it can be very, very dangerous. These ones are great for underneath the nail, you know how the nails can get really dirty underneath there. The diamond bit is really good for underneath the nail and also around the cuticle, it's a little more gentle. This one is also a carbide bit. This is also great for drilling holes in the nail if it's shaped like this. And you can also clean underneath the nail and you can also get in tight little corners around the cuticle or sidewalls. This bit here, and I've had a lot of questions about uh, what kind of bit to use for like a two or four week refill, but this is the one that you would use, especially around the corners here when you get lifting, and it's really hard to get with the file um, right into that deep corner right there. So these are perfect drill bits to use. Now these are called sanding bits, and you can buy them pretty much anywhere online. And these are excellent for around the cuticle area as well. They don't damage around your cuticle. They're very, very gentle. And I really love using these two just to smooth out the entire surface of the nail. It replaces any buffing blocks or anything like that. So, and um, the way that I actually change my drill bit because you can pull on this as hard as you want and you will actually only be able to pull this off um, is I just twist it. It just twists, as you can see, back and forth like that. And this little um, metal hinge will open and you can just slide out your drill bit. And then you just pop it back in and then you just close it right up. And as you can see, it's in there nice and sturdy. So you're not gonna ever have to worry about this flying out. When you want to change it, just twist it again. You can also adjust it, put it in you know, to wherever you want to put your drill bit. It just doesn't have to be closed all the way in here. Okay, so I've got my sanding bit in here and I'm just going to turn my drill on. It's on the lowest setting, so I'm not going to be worried about it um, hurting me or anything. And let me 
just put the emulsion here on forward and I just usually go around my cuticle nice and gently I hope you guys can see and I just keep keep the bit flat let me show you sideways here it's so hard to film I'll show you guys how to do this but you want to keep your drill bit flat you don't want to angle it this way because you're going to create uh, divots and holes into the acrylic or the nail you just want to keep it nice and flat and just swivel the tip of the um, sanding bit around the cuticle and then you want to just go around the whole entire nail and taper down the free edge you can also rotate your nail this way and look down the barrel of the nail and just go down that way. It takes a little bit of practice and as you can see I'm resting my finger here because you don't want this jumping all over the place and hurting you. And there you guys have it. Once you are done you're just going to get the dust off the nail. I'm going to use a little bit of cuticle oil here to hydrate your cuticles yeah i hope this video has been helpful for you guys and uh, thanks so much for watching and subscribing and i will see you all in my next video bye